This is Hot Topic. You're listening to Glow Live Radio with Lolo. This is Hot Topic. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Um, let's get into uh, Hot Topic today. Um, this Hot Topic is between Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. So I uh, just brought this up a second ago. It seems like, according to our poll, that uh, 74% would pick Harry Potter and only 26 would pick Lord of the Rings. That kind of hurts my heart a little bit because Lord of the Rings is the one that I grew up with, but you guys <laughs> uh -uh. seem to have a little bit different reaction. No. So I'd like to get your take on it first. So for you Harry Potter fans, let, let me hear from you. Harry Potter all the way all the time. I, I couldn't even get through Lord of the Rings. Okay, is this a reading comprehension problem or is this it, uh I don't I haven't even I didn't even want to read the books. Thank you very much. I'm, I didn't even I'm, watch te the I'm teasing you. All right, long. fine, fine, fine. That was fine. hurtful. I withdraw the question. <laughs> I, 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 it's just I was already uh irritated, so I, I withdraw the question. Uh, cowboy. I, well, I can't say anything as far as Lord of the Rings goes because I did read the Harry Potter books. I never read the Lord of the Rings books, nor did have I watched the movie, so I don't know anything about the Lord okay, of the Rings. Okay, but not so neither one, neither books nor movies. Well, I watched Harry Potter, and I I watched all of the Harry Potters, and I I read a few of their books. Okay, and I Best read Becca? some of the books and I watched all the movies at least three to four times. For Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter. And some Lord of the of books Rings. or all of the books? Some of the books. Some of the books. Mm -hmm. So both of you, some of the books, all of the movies, but Lord, Lord of the Rings? None. Nothing. Neither one of them. Neither one. I no. <laughs> probably got through the movie once, maybe, and then didn't even attempt the book. So which movie are you talking about? The, fir the first one. <laughs> The, the very I didn't even first one. The, yeah, how many are there? <laughs> okay, there there are several, but there are several books. So you so you did not make it through the Fellowship of the Rings film, and you no. made it through zero books and Cowboys. Right. Same thing. Nothing. Okay, okay. I I, I get he where you're coming even know the from. Storyline. I get where you're coming from, <laughs> uh, but it, it it's still interesting to me that you didn't actually read it, but you know you didn't like it. I think Becca at least made an honest effort. Uh, I didn't say I didn't like it. I don't know anything about it. Exactly. Okay. So your your vote would be by <laughs> default, and yours would actually be okay. I got a little little taste of it. Wasn't my thing. Okay. So switching that around, what was it about Harry Potter that you guys liked? Like that made you really connect with that? The magic of it, and like how it's very. It's, I don't want to say it's realistic, but it's like it's very modern day. Um, I. I don't know. There's so much to it. I love it. Just love it. Like, I don't have a good answer for okay, that. Okay, more more modern as part of it and and magic, right? Yeah. And well, mine would probably be the storylines behind it. Like mm -hmm. Harry Potter went through a lot. Like each time he attended uh this, anytime he attended Hogwarts, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say Gryffindor, right? Right. The, the, the school, <laughs> right? Right. Right. So yeah, he had a. It was a lot going on for him. He had, the storyline behind it all together. That's what drew me in. You can relate to it almost like yes. with the twist of fantasy. Yes. Okay. Now I hear I hear what you're saying. Now I have seen all of the movies for both. But what I happened to grow up with, with my my parents were actually into Lord of the Rings, so I was familiar mm -hmm. with the books already mm -hmm. from a very young age. What I will say is, you know, the things that you like, I, I get that it's not modern. Lord of the Rings is definitely set back in like you know ancient times. That's the way mm -hmm. it's supposed to be. It's supposed <laughs> right. to be feeling like it's an ancient you know story. But it also has the magic. It's got wizards. It's got elves. It's got dwarves. It's got war. It's got you know all kinds of plot twists, character development. The big thing is though. Rather than <clears throat> being the the learning about magic versus non magic folks and going and developing your 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 skills as a wizard and then having this mm -hmm. final battle between good and evil, Lord of the Rings kind of gets there in the end of, of 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 good versus <laughs> evil. But the setup and the build up to that is that Tolkien himself, the author, had been involved in World War One, mm. and he was very much in the whole you know let's talk about agriculture and just live peace peacefully on our farms and just hang out and chill. And so the bad guys were pitted as all this big, you know, building up weapons and huge armies. And then you have mm -hmm. this final clash between the underdogs, which is like everybody else. And then this huge, like, you know, war, uh, war machine empire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, it just does not so, the trigger. <laughs> right. But that is, I understand that in the sense that it's kind of tied to that 
period of time a mm -hmm. little bit more because that's specifically what he went through mm -hmm. as a soldier in trench warfare, which I can't even imagine. But then you flash forward to what Harry Potter is doing and it's setting up a good versus evil battle, which is always a good story right. to have. Mm -hmm. And then there's some intrigue with all the characters and you don't know who's who's allied with who. So yeah, I get it. And, and I'm not saying it's not <laughs> bad. I was just surprised at looking at those numbers. Maybe it is just, you know, a timing thing. Well, I was going to say that because in the defense of the poll, it may actually, because of the listeners that we do have, mm -hmm. True. it may be like every one of them are familiar with Harry Potter. They don't really know too much about the Lord yeah. of the Rings. Right. And, and right. also, I can say in my defense, I actually, well, recently, I can say that I actually considered going back to watch the Lord of the Rings, but mm -hmm. I didn't know where to find it. That's at me all. too. I'm actually yeah. think I should rewatch it now well, that here's, I'm older. Here's the thing too. As a kid, one of the reasons it connected with me, like I said, my my parents were into it, but also when I was young was when they had the animated versions of the movies, which is like mm -hmm. an hour and a half. So oh, it's like, okay, okay, here it is, boom, boom. Here you're done. You're like, hey, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, there's some dragons in there. There's wizards and stuff. There's kind of some neat stuff going on. So that got me hooked. But I guess I'm older than you guys. So if right at the point where you would have been maybe interested in something like that, Harry Potter was already Dad, turning out brand new. So, point. I mean, I get that. Um, but, you know, I would I would just say this. It's 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 worth a look see. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want I don't want Tolkien to be slighted and it's nothing against the 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 Rowling books because I know Harry Potter is great stuff. But I I would say give it a shot even though it's not your thing. Um, just kind of a it's a good story. I, I, I'd say it's worth checking out. Mm -hmm. um, I know the Harry Potter stuff has still her legs because there's the offshoots and stuff, you know, the other movies that came out. Um, but Tolkien was, was it's very well written. Um, the movies are good. Yes, they are a little bit longer. They're, they're super duper epic and there may not be as much action. So it is a different style. Mm -hmm. But not everybody likes the super fast pace. So if you're, if you, if you're not so much the super duper fast pace in, in your literature... And you can handle things that are a little more descriptive, um, and it doesn't drive you nuts because the pace isn't as fast. It might be a good fit for you. Um, otherwise, you know, again, nothing, nothing against the Harry Potter stuff. I'm, I'm not trying to hate on that. Butterbeer, sorry. <laughs> right. Well, you know, in Lord of the Rings, they smoke pipe weed, so you know, you may want to give it a look and uh, find out if that's for you. If that once you want to kick it on the Shire on the farm, and you've got uh, you've got all kinds of pints and half pints and pipe weed and. Hey man, they're just chilling. But uh, sure, butter beer if that's your deal, or, or Horcruxes, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was just I was surprised by that. Again, it's a long-standing great story, but I admit I enjoyed both. But for that reason, it had a soft spot in my heart for Lord of the Rings. So that's all I have to say about that. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you want to close this out? That was your hot topic for the week with Lolo.